It's Friday, December 13th here in Seoul, and this is your daily news from Korea Now. I'm Debbie Wan. North Korea has slammed the United States for convening a UN Security Council meeting this week, saying the provocative act has helped the North decide which path to take in the deadlock nuclear talks. A spokesperson for Pyongyang's foreign ministry made the remarks after the UNSC held a session on Wednesday at Washington's request. At the meeting, the U.S. envoy called on the council to act accordingly against North Korea's tension-heightening behavior. The North Korean official said the U.S. took a stupid act by convening the council meeting at such a sensitive time and added that the regime now clearly knows which way it will take in the future. Pyongyang has been threatening to take a new way in nuclear negotiations unless Washington comes up with a new proposal by the end of this year. And the council meeting was held amid speculation that the North might conduct a major provocation ahead of its year-end deadline. In response to North Korea's recent threats, a top U.S. diplomat, David Stilwell, advised the North to refrain from taking any ill-advised action. He made the comments at an event at the Center for Strategic and International Studies on Thursday. He added that President Trump wants to work with North Korea and help build its economy, and that such unfortunate, ill-advised behavior should not continue. Korean Air has recently approved a request from a same-sex couple to use combined miles on their airline. Earlier this week, a female Korean couple submitted a marriage certificate they obtained in Canada to apply for the SkyPass family membership to share their miles, and the company accepted their request. Korean Air said it approved the couple's application as they submitted all the required documents. But the company said it cannot provide details on how many same-sex couples have applied for the program as it violates the Personal Information Protection Act. The female couple in their 40s share their experience on a blog post, and the story has been getting a lot of attention as same-sex marriage is still illegal in South Korea, meaning same-sex couples are usually not allowed to benefit from the country's systems and programs that are set for opposite-sex couples. K-pop sensation BTS came in fourth place on Time Magazine's Person of the Year Reader's Poll for this year. The online poll asked the public to vote on who they think had the most impact on the events that happened throughout the past year. And last year, BTS came in first place on the poll, beating out other artists, world leaders, and politicians. This year's first place went to the Hong Kong protesters who have taken to the streets of Hong Kong over the past six months to fight for democracy. And those are your top stories for today. For full-length articles, you can check out our official website, link down below. As always, don't forget to subscribe to Korea Now for more daily updates.